there's some taste of, of candy, of sweets. Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, I'm the master taste of whiskey.com and today we have a Glen Turret here in my cask and I already had two Glen Turrets. I think it was a sherry cask matured and a pity one. And this one is called Triplewood. Um, if you have a look at the uh, tube then you see those uh, cross sections of uh, timber and with this uh, picture uh, the triple wood should be indicated and triple wood means uh, the whiskey matured in uh, three different type of casks um, American bourbon ex-bourbon casks from American white oak uh, sherry cask made of American white oak and matured sherry and third uh, European wood more intense uh, European wood in which sherry matured as well. So this is triple wood and uh, the Glen Turret distillery uh, is the oldest distillery in Scotland. It's from 1775. Well, a year before not 1776. So this one is really old. Um, and on the back there's some marketing. Who knows for how long the river Turret has been flowing from its source high on Ben Chonsey through one of the loveliest glens in Scotland and into the peaceful Turret Loch. One thing is certain, the distillery that sits by the burn has been quietly going about its craft for longer than any other in Scotland. There's no no long time to go until they have their 250th 50th anniversary. Since 1775 the Glen Turret distillery has produced small precious quantities of Highland single malt scotch whiskey. As unchanging as the river the traditional pot still process is used uh, to this day. Uh, the, yeah, you may have a look at the uh, whiskey database we have on whiskey.com and there you can see pictures of the Glen Turret distillery and they have two pot stills running and uh, these pot stills also produce malt whiskey for the famous grouse uh, blended scotch whiskey which is well not only the grouse is famous but also the whiskey is famous uh, and is one of the most often sold blend uh, wet, sold whiskies in Scotland uh, as blended whiskey and always a very small amount was filled as single malt they had been for long years 10 years old uh, at Glen Turret I think it's it's uh, vanished for some years and today there is a 10 years old again on the market and uh, I tasted already as I said a sherry casks matured and I think a peated one so the amounts are very small and if you're lucky uh, to find one and buy it. This unique triple wood cask collection has been handpicked by Glen Turret's master of whiskey Neil K. Cameron. The combination of American sherry oak, European sherry oak and ex bourbon cask make for a wonderful rich and creamy single malt. The aroma is a, a fragrant mix of orange peel, vanilla and pear drops with a taste of cedarwood, cinnamon coated marzipan and a hint of coconut. The lingering oakiness finish just this exclusive dram. Ah, and there is a uh, citation of Alfred Bonnard from 1887. He visited the distillery already in existence over 110 years. Here are no fads, appliances or patterns, but like the building, the vessels are all of the ancient pattern, Alfred Bonnard. Yeah, he wrote the book, uh, The Whiskey Distilleries of the United Kingdom. And I did it like him. <laughs> I traveled the United Kingdom uh, to visit all the whiskey distilleries. And he uh, wrote about those distilleries in a huge book, and I took pictures. 
and as him, <coughs> I taste all the whiskies. Here we go. It's 40% ABV. The price is quite low, below 40 euros, but not too expensive. And this is what people say a NAS whiskey, a whiskey without an age statement, no age statement, NAS. Oh, a very intense and friendly, wonderful nose. There's a Immediate, immediate vanilla. There's some taste of, of candy, of sweets. Some orange peel. Yeah. And cinnamon. Cinnamon mixed with sugar. And probably in the back there's marzipan, but uh, I'm not quite sure. There's some a resin note from the cedar wood. But this whiskey is mature in oak, so this is only a remembrance of the resin of cedarwood, which comes from, well, the distillery character and the casks. Smooth, creamy. And then the oak kicks in, and all those wonderful oak casks give their tastes in the aftertaste. There's no bitterness at all, there's spiciness, there's, well, this orange peel with a hint of bitterness from the peel in the back. And uh, there's some, some different taste. Yeah. If you have a coconut and then you tear out, you break out uh, the white flesh, there's this brown uh, small peel uh, in the back. This is bitter if you chew on it, but the white uh, flesh, if you chew on it and the oiliness coming out of this coconut flesh, that's it. Yeah. Now there's the marzipan. Yeah. Vanilla, orange, sweets. It is wonderful how those different oak casks can put in a lot of aromas into a whiskey without an age statement. In that a short time, I would suggest that this whiskey is above seven years old because there's no hint of of metallic youthness or of the, those very young uh, fruitiness which shows uh, the youthness of a whiskey. So typically those the light uh, peers and so it's it's not there. It's older. So so I think it's at least seven years old and if it's a mixture of a lot of multiple casts then the youngest one uh, will be no less than seven years. Yeah. So if there is whiskey which is younger than, than seven years then it's only a small amount. Mm. Um, well this one is well made uh, and those fresh multiple casts give a complexity to this whiskey. This is wonderful. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned. There's more to come. And as always, there's a good idea to give me a thumbs up and give your comments to this whiskey on whiskey.com.